guys <sighs> the sun is glorious it's glorious guys welcome back so today um real quick i want to talk to you guys is iep time okay we know the iep little individual education plan blah 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 for our children our awesome children and so we're in the planning process right now for our meeting and um i have to tell you i'm really nervous but i'm nervous in a good way guys i'm nervous in a good way i, I don't think i've ever gone into a meeting kind of apprehensive or you know combative type mindset but this time you know we just had our parent teacher conferences and we got some you know really encouraging news about our daughter so i want to kind of figure out guys i don't know what to do next you know and i know that's kind of what the iep meeting is for and we'll sit and we'll discuss with her team kind of what the next step is because we really want to continue to push our child for you know that individual personal growth but at the same time we do realize that there are some things that she areas that she still needs to grow in particularly her communication and um, her comprehension as well and so my concern as a parent is you know she is not able to really protect herself and defend herself whether verbally or physically and that's one of the reasons why i do desire to keep her in the classroom that she is in at least on that level that she's in because there are more protection set up for her as opposed to moving her up to the next level um autism level classroom where she'll have um she'll still have access to a para pro but they begin to be more um independent the higher you go up and I really want her to be, um, I want her to be safe. I want her to get the education, yes guys, but I want her to be safe. I'm waiting for the bus, here it comes, yay! But it's like, how do you find that balance between pushing a child for growth and keeping them safe, especially when, you know, they are part of a very vulnerable population? And, you know, that is definitely my number one concern with my daughter. You know, so if you guys have ideas, you know, y'all know the drill. Come on now. Drop them down below in the comments. Um, you know, so we'll see what our IEP meeting holds. Um, my daughter's teacher did give some... Not necessarily recommendations, but some options that are available to us. And some of them sound really promising, but I am still kind of at a place where I need to really research to see what is available for um, our daughter to see, you know, what the best step is for her and go from there, guys, because it's exciting. I mean, it's hard to think she's going to third grade. Oh, my goodness, two more years, and this girl's going to be in middle school. That is just... Don't even get me started, okay? Um, well, two more years after third grade, you know, because um, they start middle school here at sixth grade, so... Boy, 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 are we ready for that? Hello? Uh, no, the answer is no, guys. The answer is a flat out no. Ask me if I'm ready for third grade. Ask me again in, in August when they go back to school. Hopefully the answer will be yes, all right? So y'all know the drill, guys. This is a short one today, but like, comment, subscribe. Oh, enjoy this gorgeous weather. Y'all know my last video, I was in my big old winter coat bundled up. Hello! Winter time, 70 degrees. There's something that's good about winter in the south, guys. All right, we'll see you in the next video.